Today on Sci Guys, copper electroplating. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark. And on today's episode, we'll be doing copper electroplating. And that's the first step to getting skin like Colossus. Don't do that. Do not do that. This is a viewer requested episode. Thank you to this viewer for suggesting this topic. Electroplating is the process of using electricity to create a metal coating on a conductive surface. The equipment and ingredients you're going to need for this episode includes Rudaway, which contains copper sulfate, metal cleaning powder, a couple of AA batteries, a short length of copper tubing, two alligator clips, mason jar, electrical tape, a non-galvanized metal for coating, a kitchen scale, nitrile gloves, and a dust mask. The chemical that we'll be using today is highly corrosive, so this experiment should only be performed by adults for demonstration purposes. We recommend a full set of protective equipment, including gloves, goggles, apron or lab coat, and a dust mask. We also recommend that you familiarize yourself with the safety and first aid instructions on the container. The first step in our experiment is to make our copper sulfate solution. Add 100 grams of root killer to your mason jar. Then pour in two cups of hot water. Put the lid on the mason jar and give it a gentle swirl until all the crystals are dissolved. Now we need to prepare a nail for electroplating. Sprinkle some of the metal cleaning powder onto your nail. Add a little bit of water to create a slurry and scrub it until it's clean. Then give it a good rinse underneath running water. To make the circuit component of our experiment, take two AA batteries and tape them positive end to negative end with some electrical tape. Then take your two alligator clips, tape one end to the negative, and the second alligator clip just clip onto the positive end of the battery stack. The last step in our experiment is to take the copper pipe and place it into the mason jar. Tape it to the side of the jar, Take the alligator clip touching the positive side of your battery and attach it to the copper pipe. Then take your nail or piece of metal you want to coat and connect the negative alligator clip to the nail. Submerge the nail into the solution and move it around slowly so that it gets an even plating. Once the nail is done plating, remove it from the solution, let it drip and dry it with paper towel. Once you're done, the nail should be coated in a thin layer of copper. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Electroplating is the process of creating a metal coating on a conductive surface using an electrical current. To plate the nail, we first need a solution that contains copper ions. This is where the root killer comes into play. Root killer is a chemical known as copper sulfate, and when we mix copper sulfate into water, it creates a conductive solution made up of ionized positive copper and negative sulfate ions. Once all the wires are hooked up and the nail is submerged into the conductive copper solution, electrons travel from the negative terminal in the battery through the metal nail cathode and into the solution. From there, they travel through the conductive solution towards and into the copper anode and back into the positive terminal of the battery. The electrons will continue to travel through the circuit as long as the nail remains submerged in the conductive solution. As the electrons travel the circuit, they build up in the nail cathode and it becomes negatively charged. This negative charge attracts the positively charged copper ions that are floating in the solution, causing them to deionize and attach to the nail cathode, coating it in a thin layer of copper. The copper ions that leave the solution need to be replaced. The replacement copper comes from the copper pipe, which slowly releases copper ions into the solution to maintain a copper sulfate solution. The longer you leave the charged nail in the solution, the more copper will attach to it. The process of coating the nail with copper is a great example of electroplating. Well, that's it for copper electroplating. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider supporting our next video by becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is down below. And subscribe for future episodes. If you have any suggestions for future experiments, you can put those in the comments section. 
Also, remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode, or about science in general, let us know in the comments below, or message us on Facebook, and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. Here at SciGuys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.